love them and leave them. That's what I used to do. Use them and abuse them. <laughs> All right, hold it down. We got the crown. This is Hayes. Hey, Soundwaves. You already know what it is. Happy Father's Day to everybody out there, to all the real fathers, the real men that take care of their responsibilities, take care of their kids. Shout out to women that have to take the place of the fathers who are not in their home for whatever reason. Um, this ain't going to be no PSA, but real men take care of their kids. Like, I don't like I don't I don't get the concept of not take care of your kids. I don't care what the situation is. Um, but shout out to my father, who is the greatest father to ever live. God rest his soul. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do a story to tell, exclusive content you can only get on Patreon. Shout out to y'all, love y'all. A story to tell. The time I thought I was gonna become a baby daddy. I think all men, at least once in their life, have gone through this experience where they thought there was going to be a father for whatever reason. Well, I had my turn at that, and we're going to talk about it. So the year is 2011. We're in the summer of 2011. Now, to give you a little a little uh, timeline of what's going on, LeBron joined the Heat a year prior formed the big three the most hated team probably in the history of teams went to the finals versus the Mavs and lost choked I'm, I, I'm not I'm not afraid I'm not afraid to say it now LeBron if you don't know LeBron's my second favorite player of all time next to AI who AI's a goat to me I don't give a fuck what nobody else says okay but it, it hurt my heart it hurt my heart to see LeBron lose to the Mavs. Which we all knew LeBron and the Heat were way better than them niggas. Also during this time, there was a group called YCMB, a, a rap group that was truly taking over the game. Nicki Minaj, Drake, and Lil Wayne. And there was a song called, I'm on one. Yeah, baby, I'm on one. With uh, <laughs> DJ Khaled. In a... To this day, this is where my disdain for Drake started, actually. If you listen to that song, you know the line near the end when Drake said, I feel like the throne is for the take and watch me take it. Now, anybody listening to hip hop know what a subliminal shot is. And when you listen to that, most real hip hop fans knew Drake was taking a shot at two rappers. A nigga called Jigga and Jay-Z and a brother named Kanye who were like the two rappers at the time next to probably Lil Wayne but like the two like they already were God tier at this point um, especially Jay-Z so Jay-Z and Kanye formed a group and we all knew a collab album was coming of Watch the Throne now early in that year Jay-Z and Kanye put out a song called Ham, which didn't really go that well, which I still think like if they would have just cut the song in half, it would have did uh, cut the song after Jay-Z's verse and the hook again, hard as a motherfucker let these niggas know who I am. If they would have just cut it after that, it probably would have been a song until the summer. But doing the whole opera, <laughs> Like, you can't twerk to opera in the club, my nigga. Like, that just ain't gonna go down. And niggas ain't trying to listen to opera in the hood. Like, it just ain't, ain't, ain't gonna go down like that. You know what I mean? They should have saved that for, like, the deluxe version of Watch Your Throne, the extended version. You know what I mean? But that's just my opinion. So, yeah, Drake, you know, throwing his shots at at the throne, which eventually he was he was correct. He did become the king of, of rap. And you know it is what it is, but this is my disdain because you don't you don't go at Jay Z, you don't go at Kanye, who is my two favorite of all time. And I still can't get over that he didn't go back at Common, who who threw shots at, then didn't want to, or he didn't throw shots at, but didn't want to. You know I can't remember, nigga. It was a long time ago, but I, I know he didn't want to smoke with, with with Common. You ain't wetting nobody, nigga. You Canada dry. I ain't never. I never gonna forget that line. Okay. But I'm just I'm giving you a timeline. Okay, so we're in the summer of 2011. 
one hour later. Then I was getting some head, getting getting some head. I was getting some head, getting getting some head. So that shit was so amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> I eventually tapped on the head like, yo, get out, get out. You know what? Fuck this. We're going to the back. A few moments later. And we ain't got nowhere to fucking go. So, fuck it. <laughs> so, I'm like, nah, I ain't got nothing on me. Like, you ain't got, you ain't on a pill or nothing? She was like, no. Like, I broke up with Juan like a month, month and a half ago. Like, so I ain't been on nothing. What would I need to be on? On anything. I'm like, Shit, good point. So she hit me with this line. <laughs> she hit me with this line that what the coldest motherfucking lines I've ever heard. She was like, So how bad is you want it then? I'm like, huh? I was like, so how, how bad did you want it? How bad do you want it then? How bad did you want this motherfucker then? I'm like, the Philly came out the Philly came out of her. During that time. She's like, how bad you want this motherfucker? Like, you gonna push me around or not? I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> He's like, okay. You know what? Well, fuck it. I'm like, fuck it. It is what it is. Lay, lay the fuck back. So at this point, it's like, hey, kiss in the sky is gonna be what's gonna be. It's gonna be what it's gonna be at this point. So. I go into them uh, as the Hodge twins would say, which I fucking hate that they're conservative now. I fucking hate that they're some Trump Republican loving nut hugger. But anyway, uh, but as uh, as you should listen to Hodge twins, uh, they would say, uh, I go into them s sweet, sweet walls, right? Uh, Monday Night Raw on it. <laughs> A few moments later. Now, after the first 30 motherfucking seconds, the levee's broken this bitch. Hurricane Katrina having this motherfucker. I said, oh shit, I'm in motherfucking trouble. George Bush does not care about black people. I'm in fucking trouble.